love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. It is time for a crescendo of love to come forth like even fireworks do in this age. So it's time to receive faith from faith, hope from hope, and peace from He who is our living peace. And if we can get along in the sandbox, it is only He that can make it, it fully possible. So I'm fixing my thingy here. So guess what, people? It is time for rainbow promises to come forth and beauty of the great white throne. And so let every brave soul who's pressing onward divinely, let them keep following their mending hearts while letting go of all of their very worst pains that they have once had. And if people will do that, blessed are those letting their curiosity become their very best uh, guide as they go forth in the name of love. And so in this hour, uh, know that such people have their dreams being set sail for new places of much happiness that's totally immeasurable as they go forth obeying our living peace uh, who offers bliss far beyond all understanding. And so in this hour, who shall be happier? Ask yourself this, he who has braved the journey past uh, many past storm or one who has been refusing to leave the dock, who's only like a couch potato in their mundane life. So let all people praise he who is the most manifest. For our Lord God of always, he gives forth his word of Habakkuk, so that the just don't need to be destroyed for their lack of knowledge, which is paramount here. And so it's time for the dove's smoothest sailing. And if we will go forth in the name of love, to believe that which is so believable, to dare to believe that our Lord of love is a Lord of love's equality for all of his children, not just for, uh, not just for the uh, uh, religious people. For this reason now we have the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7. So let the just celebrate this because uh, the shattering has happened because the message of Malachi 3, 1 has opened all the canons of all religions because all religions are now fully obsolete as Hebrew 8 declares. For our Lord God Almighty is saying to all people, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity, and I will never remember it. I'll write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one will ever even need to be taught of me anymore, saith the Lord God. For all people of love shall know me, from the least to the greatest of all mankind. And all those who love do are born again because I am the love living within them. There is no damn good man, says Daniel, but everybody's good if they, uh, pretty good when they're sleeping especially. Everyone's pretty good, especially if they have his light of love on. So it's time to get with that program of that belief. For all people in this world have a false God. If they have a God who is a respecter of man, a God who does have uh, favorites, a God who is not the God of everyone, the Bible says that that is a false God. In Jeremiah 32, 27 and in John 10, for Jesus has always been the good shepherd over all the flocks of men. And lastly, you know you have a damn false God if uh, your God uh, likes you someday and hates you others. If he turns his love on and off like a light switch, you know you got a, a, a false God. Because if you have a God of conditional love, there has never been any such thing as conditional love. The great celebration is on. The Jubilee of Jubilees is here. Why? Because the Lord God loves us absolutely deeply. And he doesn't just love us, people. He actually, he adores us. So we got to get with that program of his truest truth. Bye, y'all, now.